everyone. Welcome back to 5DT with me. I am choosing to explore the concept of gratitude for today and it is National Gratitude Month. It is November so I thought it was apropos. It's also one of the tenets of mindfulness that we've been exploring uh, this month and I just think that as we explore gratitude we can explore what it is and we can also explore what it isn't. A sense of gratitude is a sense of appreciation and, and a humility that comes with that, right? So you're doing things, saying things, putting things out there without the expectation of receiving something in return, but having faith that whatever positive nature you are putting out into the world will come back and, and find you and fill you up as well. So there's something very selfless about it, something very positive about it, and something very thoughtful about gratitude. You know, when I think of when people have shown me gratitude, it's because they've stopped and gotten present with how they feel about something that I've said or done for them. And they took that time, even if it was just a couple of seconds, to think about it and to then return their thankfulness, their appreciativeness back to me through positive words, positive affirmations, or an act of kindness. And so when we think about what gratitude isn't, we all have had moments in our lives that we can reflect back on and think, hmm, maybe I was a little ungrateful in that moment. And we've certainly all had people around us that have not expressed gratitude, perhaps in the way that we had hoped. And that usually comes with a sense of entitlement and a sense of undervaluing or devaluing either you as a person, maybe it's a materialistic thing, or a material thing, and just a general sense of lack of thought being put into anything, and a very heavy sense that comes with a heaviness to it, right? When people are expressing a level of ingratitude or taking advantage of you or of other people. And that heaviness is that lower vibrational negative energy that that brings from a mindfulness perspective. When you can actually feel that and then that becomes multiplied, that's when things get really, really dark, right? So that's why it's such a beautiful time this time of year. You know, we call it gratitude month, but it really should be gratitude year where we can sit in that positive energy and we can prioritize that positive energy. That's another thing about this time of year is that we tend to let go of things. We tend to let things at work not bother us as much potentially because we have this thing to look forward to where we get to gather with our friends our family and we prioritize our community and the things that mean something to us and that we value so much more this time of year than we do other times of the year and so I just wanted to reflect on what your gratitude language is right because we can sit and talk about what it is and what it isn't all day long but what is it for you? What makes you not only feel a sense of gratitude, but when someone has shown you gratitude and it's really made you stop and go, wow, that was cool. What was it that they were doing? Were they using their words? Were they writing you a letter? Were they doing something out of the blue for you? Did they extend you a helping hand when you were in need without even having to be asked? What are those things? And I know for me, showing gratitude, my gratitude language is really in the little things. So I like to sometimes just randomly write somebody a note express to them what their friendship or their relationship with me means to me. I tend to be better in the written word than I am in the verbal sense when it comes to that, <coughs> but I'm really working on using my voice. That's actually something that I've been working on quite a bit in the last couple of years, feeling more comfortable using my voice in that way. And that just has to do with my process of healing. Um, but a lot of times I'll just do, I'll pick something up because I saw it and it reminded me of that person. And it doesn't matter if it's in July, I will either hold on to it until Christmas or something or their birthday or something like that. Or I 
love to actually just send people stuff on a whim. Like knowing that they aren't expecting anything. Sometimes it's just because of something that they said on the phone to me or in a conversation recently with me. And I just pick up on it and I kind of have this little running catalog in my head. So those are kind of some of the other ways. Oh, and um, with my friends in particular, you know, text me when you get home so I know that you're home safe. And I was very lucky that when my father passed away, one of, well, the last thing that I said to him was that I love you. And not everybody gets that opportunity and I just think a lot about that. So I tell my friends that I love them a lot when I get off the phone with them or when I'm, you know, leaving them from going out or whatever, because I want the people in my life to know that they, that they mean something, you know, and I don't have a very big family. So my family in a lot of senses is an extension beyond my nuclear family into my friendship base. So that's important to me. So I would say that that's probably the top three of my lists when it comes to my gratitude language. But I think it's important for us to sit and think about that and notice what other people's gratitude languages are. And maybe they aren't the same exactly, but that doesn't negate the fact that they're showing appreciation and showing thoughtfulness. So I explore this more. I talk about gratitude exercises, and I've got journal prompts and all kinds of fun stuff in uh, my most recent blog called How to Bring Gratitude into Your Everyday Life. So go ahead over to the5dcollective.com and check that out. And then also, if you haven't already heard, for the remainder of this month, when you log on to the5dcollective.com and you sign up for your free breathwork practice, you will also receive a free gratitude meditation. So I highly recommend it. And these practices take less than 15 minutes. I did that on purpose because I wanted them to be able to be woven into uh, your busy lifestyles, especially as the holidays ramp up. Head on over to the website. Feel free to drop a comment. Feel free to reach out to me privately if you want to explore anything or discuss anything around gratitude. And it is my hope and my wish that everyone have a very blessed holiday. There are a lot of things going on in the world right now. And so I think it's important that we also take time to be not only thankful for the blessings that we have in our life, basic needs, safety, security, shelter, and all of those things that we can often take for granted, but also to think about the people who are particularly challenged right now. Whether it is a time of war where you are, whether you have an illness yourself or somebody close to you is battling something, things happen every day. Things will certainly happen on Thanksgiving to people that take us away from the festive nature of the holiday and put us into a really challenging space. And so I think it's important to simultaneously think about that, hold space, in your heart for the people who are being challenged at this time. Send them some hope, send them some loving kindness, send them some gratitude, and know that uh, even if you think that is the smallest thing or maybe not as meaningful of a thing as you would like to do, that it, it does in fact make a difference. So with that, I will leave you for today. I look forward to seeing you at the next 5DT with me and have a blessed rest of your November.